Hey people, welcome to the channel. Keeping an eye on Joe Biden, the President of the United States. This is the man in charge of the presidency of the most powerful country in the world. Would you agree with me there? This is the man that also pretty much leads NATO against, well, Russia, China, communism, protects the West. This is supposed to be the guy you can count on, not only in the United States, but in many aspects of national security, international security for the West, this is your go-to guy. Let's check this out. It's quite interesting. Has the president been treated for Parkinson's? No. Is he being treated for Parkinson's? No, he's not. Is he taking medication for Parkinson's? No. So those are the things that I can give you full blown. When you wonder how is it that you end up with the Joe Bidens, when you wonder how you end up with the Kamala Harris's, look at Karine Jean-Pierre, the first lesbian lady. Not my words, her words. That's how she introduced herself. I'm the first African-American lesbian lady woman thing. Who the fuck cares? No, you're not African-American. You're a black American lady. You have no knowledge of Africa whatsoever, so stop it with that nonsense. And who the hell cares who you go to bed with? I don't. No one else should. Why is that even relevant? Well, because that's how you form politicians these days. That's how you end up with the fucking clown show that we're all suffering. Own answers on, but I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna confirm a specialist, a, any specialist that comes to come to, comes to the White House out of practice. Question. Making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with, with the COVID. Excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with. Uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. Thank you, President. Uh, He's a senile old man. A poor senile old man. Biden, President Trump. He had a bad night. We've talked about it. Uh, he understands people's concerns. We have been out there, as we have been in previous months, but out there obviously in the past 10 days, more than 10 days now, uh, since, uh, since the debate. And you see from his engagement with everyday people on the ground, uh, you see him with congressional members uh, having, who are showing their support, speaking on behalf of this president while we're on the ground. Everything that he does day in and day out as it relates to delivering for the American people is a cognitive test. We're going to be announcing the sanctions against Putin, who is responsible for his death, tomorrow. And uh, but the one thing I made that was made clear to me is that uh, Yolanda is going to she's going to continue to, to fight in that other way. I know there's some attention paid to some language in the report about my recollection of events. As you know, initially, the president of Mexico, Sisi, did not want to open. He means Egypt, not Mexico. But hey, open up the gate to allow humanitarian material to get in. I talked to him. I convinced him to open the gate. Look at it. That's some heavy medication. That's some large amounts of drugs going on. Stiff. He's a stiff. G. Uh, that's the G7. He he just wanders off. Prime Minister of Italy, uh, Giorgia Meloni, she knows, notices it and, he, and she goes pick him up like, a, like an old grandpa. Look at this. You got me, man. I'm not going anywhere. All right. Well, here's my answer. I am running and going to win again. You voted for me to be your nominee. No one else. You, the votes. 
the voters did that. And despite, despite that some folks don't seem to care who you voted for, well, guess what? They're trying to push me out on the race. Well, let me say this as clearly as I can. I'm staying in the race. I'll beat Donald Trump. I will beat him again in 2020. He's going to beat him again in 2020. And by the way, you know, I was in the, that World War I cemetery at, in France. And uh, the one that my, one of our colleagues, the former president, didn't want to go and be up there. I should probably shoot him and say it anyway. <laughs> we got to just remember who the hell we are. We're the United States of America. Whoa. I know with every fiber of my being, I know I won't look like I'm 40 years old, but I've been around a little bit. <laughs> well, all kidding aside, you know, I've been doing this a long time. And I, honest to God, have never been more optimistic about America's future if we stick together. So I really mean it. And now I want to hand it over to the president of Ukraine who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. President Putin. He's going to beat President Putin. President Zelensky. I'm so focused on beating Putin, we got to worry about it. I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President, but I think she was not qualified to be President. So let's start there. Number one. It's, it's bad. I mean, I don't know what else to... It's, um, I was just watching, I, I think I'll do a separate video on that. The Young Turks. You know who the Young Turks are? Well, the Young Turks have a video. They're fucking freaking out. I mean, <laughs> they're asking about national security, uh, about the borders. I mean, there's a, a point here about, it's not only just about the, the election. This man is, as of right now, the president of the United States. Right now, he's the president of the United States. This is just unbelievable. Anyway, guys, that's going to be all for now. See you later. Take care.